Turning to some developing news tonight, the Pullman Police Department announcing a major arrest in an 18 year old cold case. Investigators say they linked a 47 year old man to a series of home invasions and sexual assaults that happened between November of 2003 and March of 2004. Crem 2's Kyle Simchuk live in the studio tonight to explain how detectives connected the dots all these years later. Kyle? Well, 18 years ago, the city of Pullman and students at Washington State University were watching their backs. Someone was breaking into homes and raping women. It's been a mystery that's puzzled detectives until now. Decades, Pullman police detectives had a sketch of a face, but not the name of a man who broke into several homes and sexually assaulted female students. This morning, police say they put that man in handcuffs. 47-year-old Kenneth Downing was arrested at a construction site in North Spokane. Very exciting for us to finally bring our victims closure. It's been a long time coming and something that the, our victims needed and deserved. Pullman Police Sergeant Aaron Brashears has been with the department for 23 years and responded to one of those sexual assault cases. Aside from this sketch, detectives also had DNA evidence collected from the crime scenes. What they didn't have was a match. It always comes back up and you wonder, you know, where, where is this person? Police say they finally had an answer after plugging that DNA into a genealogical database containing millions of samples sent in by people curious to find out about their heritage and family tree. It, it is a very valuable tool, especially for these types of cold cases. The forensic genetic genealogy gives us the tool to identify the suspects, his family tree or her family tree. Police believe Downing or a relative provided their DNA into a genealogy site unknowingly helping detectives narrow their search, which ultimately led to Downing's arrest and closure to the victims. Police know of at least three women who were raped. They were, they were relieved um, that this is finally has some closure. And police say Downing was not a college student at WSU. He lives in Elk, Washington, and tonight he's in the Whitman County Jail charged with 13 felonies, including rape, burglary, and assault. Downing is being held on a $5 million bond. He's scheduled to appear before a judge tomorrow morning. Krem 2 will be in the courtroom. Mark.